Hey Scorps, welcome back to the channel. Peace, love, light, and healing energy. This is Sasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot 888. I hope everyone is having a good day so far. So we're going to get into this channel message reading. I'm not sure what's going to come out, so take what resonates with you. Leave the rest. <clears throat> if you are new, welcome to the channel. I would love to have you. Definitely subscribe. Make sure that you all are taking a look at the description box of the video for any information you would like to know about myself, the channel, all of my links and websites for personal readings, as well as my Cosmic Spiritual Shop, where I do sell candles, uh, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine shirts, oils, and so much more. So definitely check it out. My email is also down in my description if you need to contact me directly for a personal reading. All right, so... Let's get into it, everyone. Spirit, angels, guides, divine ancestors. I welcome you into this reading for the star sign of Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, Venus placements. Please protect my energy as I open this spiritual portal. Let no weapon form against me shall prosper. Please return any dark forces, evil eye, dark witchcraft that's not of my highest good, any monitoring spirits offline or online that's here to disrupt the reading. I ask that you return the energy back to sender. Tenfold, so more to be. Amen and amen. All right, what do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio? Hold on one second, guys. Okay. All right, so let's get into it. <clears throat> and of course, as always, take what resonates with you, leave the rest. What do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio? Alright, so let's stop here. Let's see what we got going on. Okay, so it looks like these few cars wanted to come out. So, alright, so we have emotional. Okay. All right, we also have angel numbers. Sorry about that, angel numbers. And we also have here karmic lessons. So karmic lessons, okay? All right, so emotional, angel numbers, and karmic lessons, okay? Hmm. Right now, for some of you, you can be in an emotional state in your life right now where you're feeling a lot of emotions, especially from the full moon that may have happened. Um, there may be situations that's going on in your life right now that's causing a lot of emotions to arise. Where even if you're not like crying, you may just could be just feeling sad or feeling down. Just very, you know, of course we are water signs, so we're going to have emotions. But lately you could have been feeling very emotional about anything whether it's your relationship job the world everything that's going on with angel numbers some of you guys may be seeing a lot and lots of angel numbers like for example i see 11 11 all the time 12 12 1 1 1 i see 4 4 4 5 5 5 a lot so you may be seeing a lot of angel angel numbers and obviously there's a message here for you when it comes to the angel numbers so you know make sure when you are seeing angel numbers that you may be doing your research, kind of seeing how it connects to you, okay? With karmic lessons, <clears throat> there may have been situations where you dealt with friends, family members, lovers, just in general. There were situations where there were a lot of karmic lessons, and that just means that the word karmic just means something or someone that's in your life to teach you a lesson. Is there for a reason you're supposed to grow and evolve from any lessons that come into your life but with a karmic this was orchestrated by the universe to teach you a lesson to help you to evolve and grow from that situation okay all right so we're going to get into it and see what each card means for you okay all right so i am going to grab a different deck to use for you guys let's see all right, so I am going to use this one. All right, Spirit, tell me about emotional. What is going on for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now, also Scorpio, keep in mind the roles can be reversed. This can be um, someone else that's in your energy that's very emotional, and they could be seeing angel numbers, but maybe not understanding the angel numbers. Someone could also be going through karmic lessons. Yeah. 
Spirit, Angels, Guides, Divine Ancestors, tell me about emotional for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Clarify emotional. Thank you. All right, so we have the chariot here, cancer energy. Tell me more. Thank you. Page of swords. Okay, so we have the chariot and page of swords. <clears throat> so cancer energy. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini with the Page of Swords. So, yeah, that's why I always tell you guys, you know, the roles can be reversed. I feel like there's someone that's stalking, watching you here, Scorpio. Could be a Cancer. Could be someone who is <clears throat> an air sign. But someone... <coughs> excuse me. But there's definitely someone that's spying. Curious to see what you're up to. What's going on with you. Okay. Hmm. And someone is feeling a little emotional about it. It's almost like someone is watching you just walk away and not doing anything about it. They're just sitting back, you know, in their feelings, not really expressing them. Yeah, five of pentacles. Someone here is definitely missing you. Hmm. All right. Tell me about angel numbers. Clarify angel numbers for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <clears throat> Thank you. All right, so we have the Hierophants, Taurus Energy. Tell me more. Thank you. And Page of Pentacles. So Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Hmm. The angel numbers that you may be seeing are definitely coming from the universe, source, your ancestors. I feel like some of these angel numbers are for a fresh new beginning. This, These angel numbers you could be seeing could also be connected to manifestation. Also giving you signs of a fresh start, a new beginning. It can also be to educate yourself on the spirit realm. Hmm. But it's definitely an angel here that is sending you or connecting with you through angel numbers. Yeah. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Wands as well as the Queen of Swords here. Hmm. You're getting like signs and synchronicities because I feel like someone here is very like burnt out, stressed, overwhelmed. So they're like sending you signs to help you with whatever situation that you're dealing with. Hmm. Wheel of Fortune, Three of Cups. You may be also getting different angel numbers about changes that's happening in your life as well as things are going to work out in your favor. You could be getting signs of synchronicity about friends, family. Protecting yourself, guarding yourself. Hmm. All right. Tell me about karmic lessons. And of course, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. What is karmic lessons, spirit, angels, and guides for Scorpio? Thank you. All right. So the high priestess, Pisces, Cancer energy. I'm hearing use your intuition when it comes to people, situations. Hold on, this card fell. Uh oh, sorry, I hit that lighting over there. <clears throat> All right, tell me about karmic lessons. It's almost like whatever karmic lessons that you may be experiencing or that you have experienced, 
I heard humble. It's like it's humbling you. Putting, you know, you're kind of like seeing things in a more spiritual light. You're following your intuition a little bit more or you're needing to connect to your higher self when it comes to this karmic lessons. Understand that it's not there to hurt you. It's to help you heal and evolve. Mm. It's a spiritual lesson behind it. Hmm. Tell me more. What is karmic lessons? Spirit, angels, and guides for Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Okay, so Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Cancer. It's something to do with a Cancer or Pisces here, possibly a Taurus, Gemini. You may have those signs in your chart or someone that is connected to you does. Someone here is very, very emotional. And this seems like a Cancer here that's learning some karmic lessons as they stalk and spy you, spy on you. Mm. Someone here can be very, very silent towards you because they are learning some karmic lessons, but they're, it's almost like the universe is trying to help someone to tap more into their intuition when it comes to people, places, things. Mm. Well, hang on one second, guys. Let me get my bottle of water. Hang on. Back. All right, so we're going to break this down a little bit more to get more insight. I need to get me a little bit of water here. All right, so. <clears throat> All right, so let's jump back into it. So tell me about emotional and the chariot. So yeah, I'm picking up like a water sign here, Pisces or Cancer, that may be seeing angel numbers, but maybe not familiar with them. They may just think, oh, you know, just seeing 1111. I don't know what that means. It's just, wow, look at this. But they're getting signs, synchronicity from the universe. Yeah. Or again, of course, Scorpio, this can be you. You could have Cancer Pisces in your chart. All right. What is the chariot when it comes to emotional? Thank you. All right. So the death card, Scorpio energy. What is the page of swords? It seems like someone is like emotional about leaving you behind or the fact that you moved on, but someone seemed like they were resistant to change. So page of cups, also water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It's a lot of pages here. So this is communication. This can be angels speaking. This can be spirit guys speaking. But it seems like it's a water sign here that's in their feelings. That you're either moving on. And they're not ready to let this go. They're still emotional about it. Not really wanting something to be over. But there's no change. And all this person is doing is stalking, watching, spying. As you leave them behind. But with this page of cups, this is like, I'm hearing, I'm sorry. Can we talk? I want to reach out to you. Yeah, someone is definitely in their feelings here. Hmm. All 
This can also be someone who's spying that's wanting to send you a message, send you a DM, that they don't want something to be over. They could be coming towards you, for some of you. Hmm. So like I said, this can definitely be a strong water sign here. Someone who's definitely emotional behind the scenes. But they're coming in as a page, so this is someone who may not know how to express their feelings and emotions. In the most healthy, effective way. It may come off very childlike. Mm. What is angel numbers and the higher fans? Thank you. All right. So the magician, Gemini Virgo. What is the page of principles with angel numbers? Yeah, I feel like these angel numbers are calling for you to manifest. All right, so the Seven of Cups. You may have a list of things that you want to bring into your life. Different options, different choices. Each one of these cups can rep represent something different. This could be you want a new car, a new house, maybe go shopping, travel, vacation, party, whatever it can be. A new house. So I feel like these angels, angel numbers that you're seeing is a sign from the universe. That you are a powerful manifester. Create the reality that you're seeking. Create the life that you want. Use all the tools and resources that the universe has given you to at least start small. Even if you're not great at manifestation, start off small, you know. Kind of get an understanding of how to manifest for some of you. Hmm. Now, for others of you. These angel numbers that you're seeing for others of you can be that someone here could be breadcrumbing you because they're dealing with other people, other situations. Whatever offer that they're trying to bring you is filled with illusions. Hmm. Someone could be manipulating you in a commitment, relationship, marriage. Hmm. Um, all right. So, yeah, I'm getting like Taurus, of course, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini. That is here. Tell me about karmic lessons for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, yeah, be careful and pay attention to the angel numbers because you don't want something to be an illusion. Make sure that you're paying attention to it. Research the numbers to see what it means for you. Hmm. Because these angel numbers is coming from source, from God, the universe, your ancestors. Mm. All right, so tell me about karmic lessons and the high priestess. Thank you. All right, so three of cups. Tell me about the Queen of Cups and Karmic Lessons. What's the final message here? And we have the Seven of Swords. So the number 77 is here. Hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a water sign. Cancer Pisces could be a female or a masculine that is learning some common lessons about lying, being manipulative, not being trustworthy. Just being a snake energy. Or this can be this person or you that is learning lessons about people that are not trustworthy. It's almost like follow your intuition. Don't question your intuition. If you see something or sense something is off, listen to yourself. You may be picking up an energy that someone could be cheating with a third party or lying to you about family, friends, or outside individuals. If you get that feeling, definitely listen to it. And again, this can be a Pisces Cancer that is starting to learn and follow their intuition when it comes to family and friends, anyone type of anything like a third party situation. 
seem like someone is starting to get bored and discontent with other people. These, this person, you or whoever is connected to you, could also be given like family and friends, like the silent treatments. They, someone feels like friends, family, or anyone outside of them. It's almost like you can't trust people. And your intuition is kind of telling you to trust your intuition and not trust others, you know? Hmm. Wow. All right, Scorps. So this is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next reading. Bye-bye.